hello everyone today we are going to work on the sea and the sky sphere of this unlimited terrain plugin we have developed so far in Unreal Engine 5 so to demonstrate what that means is let me speed up a little bit so you can see in the distance as the character moves forward new terrain tiles are being added see over there so in an actual game we might hide that but for now i need to keep it visible so now as you can see no matter where player goes landscape will be there and in the behind landscape will disappear but if i go to the top for you and here now you see this sphere this is actually the sky sphere mesh so but this sky sphere mesh and this is the c plane so these things are not moving at the moment but if i keep moving forward until i pass the bound of the sky sphere what happens is let me manually move this sphere outside the player now if i go here now you see in the sky it's dark that's because we don't have anything to render the sky in this area because the sky sphere is over there so and also if i keep moving like this the sea plane is also disappeared because it's behind me now so what i'm going to do today is implement in a way to move the sky sphere and the sea plane along with the character actually you i'm gonna implement a more general way not just those two whatever the actor that i want to keep up with the player i want to move it i'm going to implement a system to define what actors that i want to move with the character and how to relocate them based on player's location that's what we are going to work on today so once i implement that no matter where the player goes there will be landscape and there will be sky so this is truly infinite okay so first let me open the world engine blueprint and here i'll add a new function let's call it relocate actors okay now i'll add another variable what should I call it? Actors to be relocated. That's the only name I can think of at the moment. An object type, I'll give it actor, make it public, and make it an array because there will be multiple object types that we might need to relocate with the player. So, this is not actually a complex thing to do. So, let me run a for each loop. and then we can get the location of this actor and also we can get player location so the reason that i'm not doing it like this get player character and get actor location we could do this as well but i'm not doing it that way because this function actually check if there are any players or if there are any pawns or what is the current active player mm, controlled class if it is a character it will return character location if it is a pawn it will return the pawn location so those things will be checked here so this is a custom written function within the plugin so now here i'll check distance actually 2d not 3d because we only worried about the di the 2d distance between the player and these actors it doesn't matter the height of the or oh, vertical height of any of these objects and if this distance is larger than let's say i'll call it Relocate 
this does we might need a bit bigger value here feel free to modify this but i'm gonna use 50,000 for now or maybe even more 100,000 if it is true then i'm gonna again get the reference to this current actor that we are considering and set actor location so here we only need to change x and y is it can remain the same so therefore let me break this and this i'll use x y from the player and it said the current value the existing value now where should we call this relocate actors so we could either add a timer or we can just reduce the tick interval increase the tick interval not radius like 20 seconds because i'm not actually using tick here so once you read 20 seconds if i call this relocate actors that should be enough so tick but it is i don't think you should call this in every tick even though it's just a simple function there is not really a requirement to do that so why why would you do that so relocate actors right now did i make this public here yeah. relocate distance also i'll make it public okay and now here we have actors to be relocated i'll add two elements and i'll give c and sky sphere now if i move let me make it move faster if i manipulate in the time dilation here let me eject uh, and in the top now you see this currently it's like this but initially i think it should be in the zero yeah see so if i select the same sky sphere Ah, it is updated to players location but if you keep looking at that you should see it's moving see it changed so now no matter where you go there will be ocean underneath and there will be sky above you wherever you go in the world okay so two simple things but actually very important for an infinite world and i think we can stop this episode right here so here is the world this is the regular speed okay and thanks for watching as always updated widget files will be available in the patreon page for download link would be in the description below and not just this project you can download all thousands of projects that i have done in my channel to the date once you become a member in the patreon page and see you in the next episode goodbye